All right, welcome back to the channel. I know I left you guys kind of hanging last week. If you weren't here, I bought a box of Magic Gathering cards for $3 at a thrift store and kind of hinted that I'd found something really good. Well, honestly, I, I didn't. Didn't really find anything worth selling on eBay, but I did find two cards that I thought were pretty interesting. Like this one is some kind of water card. I don't know anything about magic, but I just thought this was pretty cool. And then this one is like an invisibility card. I don't really know what the purpose of it is. Like I said, I know nothing about magic, but it's pretty cool. But I also did some thrifting this week, found some really cool stuff, made some mistakes, but also found a bucket list item. Check it out. Bright and early on a Friday morning and you can probably already guess. We're at a Goodwill. Looking for items to flip online for a profit. Let's see what we can find. All right, this might be first find of the day to me. It's like a garment bag. Oh, and it's on wheels. That works. Unfortunately, it's got somebody's name on it. It might be really easy to get off, actually, because it's this real heavy material. I don't want $14.99. I'm gonna check comps, look it over. I'll let you know what I find out. I think that still could be good. Walking by the hat section and this logo just caught my eye. And that's even better. Got the old Tiger logo, that's cool. All right, so I've looked over this Timmy bag, made sure all the zippers work. It's really clean on the inside. Even the bottom's not scuffed, which is pretty rare for a rolling bag. It does have their embroidery on there, but I think it's worth trying to get it off. We want $14.99, and these things are selling for $150, $225, $150, $165, so I think it's worth a shot. All right, y'all, check this out. I'm not real sure what to do here, to be honest with you. Foot joy. Foot joy. Foot joy. Foot joy. Foot joy. Foot joy. Definitely a good brand, but they've all got this logo on here. And after some research, I figured out that that's Elon University, which is a pretty small school in North Carolina. So these things would probably take forever to sell. I think I may pick up a few though. Just some, maybe some with patterns that might sell a little bit quicker. I'm gonna grab one or two and take a chance. All right, so I ended up with a few Foot Joy shirts. I'll uh, go over them when I get outside. But I'm in the hard goods now, and unfortunately not finding anything. This ticker clock is cool, but it's uh, obviously the batteries are corroded. But uh, I was going to check out, and I'll let you know what all I found. All right, so got three Foot Joy shirts, and I know I'm going against my own recommendation. I always say that if you uh, if they don't have a well-known course logo on them, you probably shouldn't buy them. But I'm going to rationalize it by saying that golf season is coming up. I can make one listing and put all of them in there since they're the same size. All of them are mediums and they're in fantastic condition. They look basically brand new. So like I said, I'm probably rationalizing that. But uh, either way, I paid $4.75 a piece. I got the Tiger Woods hat, which is really cool since he uh, doesn't use that logo anymore. Hopefully the value of that will go up. And then the Tumi bag. Like I said, I'm going to have to do something with this embroidery, I believe. I may try pulling it off and see what happens. Either way, $14.99, I think into at least $100 is pretty good. The interesting thing about that is when I went to check out, she actually made me open that bag to make sure that I didn't put anything in it. So I asked her if she's ever actually caught anybody doing that, and sure enough, she said it's happened a couple of times. Put a bunch of stuff in there and only try and pay for the suitcase. So uh, people are out here trying to rob the Goodwill, which is kind of nuts. Also, you guys see my clubs in here. I was supposed to be playing golf today, but uh, it's a little damp, unfortunately. All right, so I feel like if I'm going to talk about my successes on this channel, I've got to talk about my mistakes as well. And this Tumi bag may have been a mistake. You see, I've already started taking some of this embroidery off. Got the DAW that took me about 30 minutes. And basically what I'm doing is taking this razor blade and cutting the threads on the inside and pulling them out the front. Uh, and you can see what's happening is it's leaving this shadow. And what it is, I thought it would be like a contrast where it was faded and not. But it's actually little threads, almost like a pilling, where it's kind of pulling through there. So I don't know, it may have ruined this bag. I only paid $14.99 for it. Actually, I think it was 25% off because it was red tag. But uh, I don't know, structurally, it's fine. It's clean, it's nice. You may still can get 50, 60 bucks for it, even with the blemish. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me comment down below. The silver lining though is at least I'm not going to lose money. I pulled this luggage tag off and just this little guy by itself, Sells for like 20 bucks, so that's pretty good. Got a good sell through rate, too. I just walked in and they've got a gas mask in the display case. They want $99.99 for it. 
wonder how much it's actually worth. Either way, that price stinks. Kind of surprised to see these here. A pair of Hoka's in good condition. Actually, a little bit of wear on the toe there, but I didn't get 30 bucks for them. She was here at 650. Definitely surprised to see these here. I'm gonna inspect them further to make sure there's nothing wrong with them, but they look pretty good. How is this here? Extra large? There's something wrong with that, All right? There's a, there's a logo. Alright, Patagonia. Good condition other than some dog hair. It does have a logo on it, but I still think it's gonna be worth it for $575. So I'm doing some research on this Patagonia before I buy it. You guys may not know, there's a style number right there. It makes it pretty easy to type into eBay. I just put in 25543, and that FA means it came out in the fall of 2019. So I looked it up on eBay, and without a logo, looks like they're selling it for 40 or 50 bucks. With a logo, there's one that sold for 30, sold for 28. So I'm still gonna get it just in case my wife wants it, but not a huge profit there. Still a pretty cool find. All right, so I'm definitely making some questionable buys today, like on the Patagonia jacket, but how can you turn down Patagonia for 575, honestly? Like I said, my wife may want it. If not, I think I can get 30 bucks out of it. Then I did actually find myself an Adidas shirt and then got the Hoka's, which should sell for 30, 35. And the selfie rate on those Hoka's is pretty good too. So not a bad stop. Well, it's kind of shocking just sitting up here all by themselves. Oh, dirty. Uh, plenty of tread left. No tears on the heels. Hoka Clifton 6. I think they sell for like 30 or 40. It's like a good size. Let's see here. Men size 11. I'll take those. 650. Well, this is one of the more interesting things I've found at Goodwill in a while. It's like a PV mixer. I want 30 bucks for it. I tried looking it up. There's none listed, none sold. I googled it and looks like some may have sold for like 200 in the past through other websites, but uh, I have no way of testing that, so I gotta leave it behind. I thought it'd be a really good find though. These things, however, are always a pickup. The V10 Tonio Pizza Chef, they want $10 for it. It is very clean. I think they comp at like anywhere between 60 and 100. So I'm gonna grab that too. Oh, this is wild. Polar Raflon, that's a vintage tag. Check that out, got the wooden toggles. Check out the back. I'm not even gonna look that up. That's it's gonna be 575 here. I bet you that's close to 100 bucks. We'll find out together. All right, so far we got the Hoka's for 650. Those should sell for 30 or 40. The Pizzell, or Pizzell maker, should sell for anywhere between 60 and 100. And oddly enough, I've sold probably seven or eight of these. And I've never even looked up what a Pizzell is or Pizzell or, or even how to pronounce it, obviously. But yeah, we're going to look that up later and uh, we'll figure out that together. And then the polo shirt, which is awesome. It's going to be either 475 or 575. Definitely vintage. Got the cool patches on it. I'm guessing somewhere around 100 bucks based on similar things that I've sold. But let me comment down below. Let me know. Let me know. Give me your guess and we'll figure it out at the end. I'm going to make one more lap around here and uh, see if we can find anything else real quick. Unfortunately, nothing on my second trip around, but I'm going to put these uh, three purchases in the van and then walk back into the boutique area and see if I can find anything there. But like I said, leave me a guess on what you think that uh, Polo Ralph Lauren shirt's going to sell for. I've got high hopes for it. All right, only one find in the boutique, and it's probably the ugliest thing that I'll find today. Go Tigers, but it will make me some money. $5 for the University of South Carolina Cox hat. But the reason I bought it is because it's actually vintage. You can see the game tag in there, made in the Dominican Republic. Uh, if it was modern, I wouldn't pick it up because they do make modern versions of this. But the fact that it's vintage, I think at least 30 or 40 bucks. Got the cool game logo on the back. A little bit of dog hair on it, but nothing a lint roller won't fix. So not too bad. 
But what is bad is the fact that I went to three or four more stores and didn't find a single thing. And that Polo Ralph Lauren shirt is not worth as much as I thought it was going to be. The only comp I could find was where one was listed on eBay for like 65 Still a good flip if I can get that much for it, but there were none sold that I could find. And then there was the Pizzell maker, and that's how you pronounce it, I think. I looked it up, and that's kind of what the guy was saying. They are called Pizzell. Pizzell. Pretty straightforward. Pizzell. Those things sell really well. I had the model 300, and there's like 44 listed on eBay right now, and 150 something has sold. And then I went to look up what a Pizzell is, and it's apparently some kind of Italian waffle cookie. Here I am thinking the whole time it's some kind of pizza thing. I, I don't know, but it's a good pickup for 10 bucks. But I did go along the same route two days later, and I finally found something that I've been looking for for a long time. Looking through the plush here, and that's kind of actually kind of cool. It's a Smurf. He's sewn together. That's kind of interesting. Like that would probably sell for a few bucks, but honestly, I feel like I ought to find something better. So unfortunately, not finding a whole lot. Uh, the $20 VCR from the last video is here. The $40 one though is gone, oddly enough. Uh, I got excited when I saw a girl rolling out a bunch of golf clubs and a cart that she was restocking, a bunch of junk. I am however gonna get the wherever chicken bucket. Apparently it's like a pressure cooker for fried chicken. Not really sure, they want $5.99 for it. There's 30 listed and like 60 sold. Sell for anywhere between like 40 and 60. So we're gonna grab that and uh, go to the boutique. Unfortunately, I didn't find anything in the boutique, so I only got the chicken bucket, but we're at the Salvation Army. So I've got to talk over this because they had Taylor Swift blaring in the background at this thrift store. And sometimes I think if you even think about Taylor Swift or say Taylor Swift on YouTube, they give you a copyright strike. And here I am just, I keep saying Taylor Swift and it's me. I'm the problem. It's me. But I've been looking for one of these jackets forever. I paid $9.99 for it. It's a Flyers Intermediate Jacket Type G1. I've always called it a G1 jacket. This thing should sell for anywhere between 120 and 200 bucks. I've actually got it listed for 179. Had an offer already for 125, which was pretty good. May should have taken it because comps are definitely all over the place. But like I said, this thing's in really good condition. Definitely one of my bucket list items. Really happy I found it. But I think that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you like and subscribe so that you don't miss next week's video where I'm going to show you an item that I paid $7 for that's already sold for $99, an item that I paid $10.50 for that should sell for over $140, and then an item that I paid $3 for from Goodwill that's already sold in a couple of hours for $229. I'll also update you on the Toomey bag if there's any news on that. So like I said, make sure you like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this one. We'll see you next time.